It's you, Cancer. Great to see you just in time for your Cancer July 2021 reading and forecast. Hi, I'm Nigel St. James. For those of you who are just dropping by for the first time and for the subscribers, much love and affection to you as always. My great pleasure to see you each month. I look forward to it and of course I send you a lot of energy as well because I, I get to see some of the names that are there. Uh, now let's have a look to see what there is in store. Now this deck I got from directly from the artist uh, of the deck in um, I think it was San Francisco I just can't remember it was some time ago and uh, I've got so many artists that I work with actually a lot of my clients are, are, are artists. Now let's um, draw five cards shall we because I think we've found that's all we need don't we too because each of the cards is jam packed full of information and messages for you for the month. So let's draw five shall we and get the show on the road. Here's the first one that is the world. What a fantastic first card to draw for you Cancer. I love that. I love that energy there. What's this one? There is the five of staves. See here, I wonder what staves must be. I suppose it might be wands. I'll have a look to see what else is coming out in this deck to see what there is. There's the king of staves. Well, I, uh, looking at him, I'm assuming it's wands because he's got a very fiery sort of look on his face. So staves, I'm quite sure is wands. Oh, I'm looking at the, now that I'm looking at the imagery there, it looks pretty clear that that's what it is. Fire fire and that beautiful world card that's there. Let's have a look to see what this one is shall we? The Queen of Discs, a couple of court cards and finally this one here which is the Two of Staves. Well Staves, fire energy for you Cancer. Here we go. So why don't you come sit down next to me. Let's have a good close look at these cards together while I do the reading for you. There now can you see of course, if you'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one personal reading with me, just check out the information that's in the description box and that can happen from anywhere in the world. But you should have a look at the website anyway, uh, because I think there's a lot of interesting information, well, information I think that you'll find interesting there. Now, let's have a look at your first card here, which is the world. What a fascinating, uh, fascinating painting here. Well, this shows a young girl in motion between two trees. And I suppose those trees could be the trees from the book of Genesis in the Old Testament or Hebrew Bible, chapters two and three, which are the tree of knowledge of good and bad and the tree of life. And around them orbit a belt of planet and stars. And on her left hand, I don't know if you can see it there, just on her left hand there, there is um, almost uh, etched the numeral one. Out of her open mouth is an explanation of sorts. Zero, the belt of the celestial bodies. One, the human girl. And infinity, the trees. They are equivalent and interchangeable. Find gods in the trees. Find yourself in the space in between. This view of the universe is one in which there is a place for you, but you understand that you are, in fact, the universe. You are an integral part of the universe and that the universe is alive. You, in fact, are a prime example of the fact that the universe is alive because you are just made up of chemicals and molecules which come from stars there in the universe and you're alive, so it clearly is alive. Now, what this is saying to you in particular is that, well, I call this girl here in this instant, in this place, the Great One of the Night Time. This is talking about the completion of a project. Your efforts are finally paying off. It's been a long, hard haul for you, I think, but you're almost there. And it's a reminder to finish what you started. I think you're also going to be during this month learning to take control of your own destiny. And you'll be using the power of your will to get results. 
I think it's possible that you could also be obtaining a new level of spiritual understanding because this is very much about cosmic union, liberation from bondage, the burning off of karma. This is about completion and the initiator. So I think you'll be someone who is gifted in simultaneously completing the old and in initiating the new. You'll be able to bring change into, well, into large institutions or strongly structured environments if you're there. And you may be quite ecologically minded, but you'll have a desire to experience as much of the world and its people as is possible. Now, maybe that before the age of 21, there was a sexual block which needed cutting through, and that has been. But something is ending now and beginning at the same time. Maybe it's a desire to travel or to study, uh, or maybe even just to um, liberate a sexual reticence. It is now possible for you to see things as they really are. The stage is set for a new beginning or a favorable completion. The events in your life are in harmony with the universe. From what aspects of your life is it time to free yourself? Is there a journey or an enterprise waiting for you to set in motion? Now, at this time, trust your perceptions and make a list of all unfinished situations whose resolution would give you a sense of release. And say this to yourself at this time, I love to travel, I love to explore the unknown. I am excited about bringing ideas and creative projects into form. I am one with the universe and I deeply value making a contribution that will make the world and my friends and people around me a better place and better people. Well, why don't we just stay in that left-hand side there and have a look at this, which is the Queen of Discs. Here she is. Well, I think that this Queen is perhaps the most complex of all the court card characters. She is conflicted in her relationship to her environment and those around her. On the one hand, she is sensual and kind, warm-hearted, and very much alive to the beauty and curiosity of the world around her. She misses nothing, and she has a strong appetite for experience and experimentation. She does, however, I think, have an addictive personality and may fall into codependent relationships with another person, possibly substance abuse or some strange ideology so consuming that it makes her almost delusionary. Now, at the core of her character, I'm not, I'm not saying that this is you, it might be someone that you do know, and I'll get to that in just a second. But at the core of her character is a strong lust for living, and that will be you. But in her case, that lust for living could hasten her own destruction. She may have difficulty making decisions, wanting all possibilities to remain open and thereby losing them all. She probably does best in roles that she can embody and devote herself to fulfilling. In this way, her collected wisdom will protect her from her impulsiveness and her dependencies. Now, she is the queen of the throne of the earth. Now, when I say it's somebody else that's possible around you, that is possible because I think I get a lot of Capricorn around here. I also get Sagittarius. Now, she's the watery path of Earth. So, there could be sometimes some conflict in her nature. She's ambitious, but she works with instinct and intuition rather than with intellect. I'm not saying that you're not intellectual, but this is what she does at the moment. So it may be a time for you to just work with instinct at the moment. She's quiet, hardworking, practical, sensible. The people represented by this card can possess the finest of the quieter qualities. And they can, in a, in a reticent and unassuming fashion, be actually very sexy and lusty, 
Well, it's always the quiet ones. And they can get into drink and drugs almost as if it's the only way that they can realize their essential happiness is by getting outside of themselves. She's very much a motherly type, a nurturing uh, type of person, very nurturing. And I think that's what you'll be during this period. And you'll be expressing yourself practically. Someone here, this is very good energy for someone who's involved in domestic duties. And you'll be probably striving, I think, to create a very secure home environment, maybe a home environment for yourself or for a family. This can represent the mother type, who guides others through problems. But you've got to find the time to create some nurturing time for yourself. This energy here does represent prosperity and security though. This is a time when you should keep practical, be compassionate and have a nurturing attitude to others and to your own circumstances. So kind of go with the flow, I think is what I'm getting to here. She also represents health and diet, I think. So be aware of your own diet, be aware of your own health and exercise, and go forward quietly without an overt attack upon existing situations, at least for this month. I think it's the case that you've probably been through something of an arid stretch recently on your journey, and you're, you're now arriving in more fruitful surroundings. Now you can rest and devote some attention to yourself and to your physical needs. Ask yourself, in what ways have you neglected your body, your outer self? Do you indulge yourself too much? Devote more attention to your health and physical beauty. Not that you need more physical beauty, but there's no harm in resting on, don't rest on your laurels, become even more beautiful. Cancer women are known as the most beautiful in the zodiac. And say to yourself, I give my body the gift of loving attention. It gives me the gift of life, energy, joy in living and in health. And this uh, energy here signifies the ability of the Queen of Discs to focus and produce things which are practical and useful to those around you and in your life. Well, where shall we go to next? Let's have a look at, I think I'll leave the King of Staves until just, uh, maybe till the end. And we'll come here with the Five of Staves. Now, this Five of Staves in that position is, is interesting. This looks like someone who's almost like fighting with those branches there, doesn't he? Well, one of the reasons for that is that in that position, the astrology of the energy is that of Saturn in the first decan of Leo, 23rd of July to the 2nd of August. This is, in a sense, the Lord of Strife. Saturn and Leo, well, Saturn and Leo really just don't see eye to eye on things. The other thing which is going on here is, is that this number five, has a mystical association with the planet of Mars for me. Mars is that aggressive, fiery planet. And we're in the suit of staves, which is in the suit of fire. And Leo is a fire sign. So fire sign, fire suit, fire in the numerology. Very fu whoops. Just, I hope that's better. There you go. Very, um, very fiery there. So Saturn, of course, is cold, dense, and wants to set boundaries and limits. Well, what this means is that the, the astrological energies are in discord, and Saturn comes along and wants to dampen down all this fire energy. So we get the feeling here of that of restriction or an unfulfilled desire, vain striving for things. This card can signify a general condition in which the creative power of the lion in Leo is blocked by Saturn. Because the free flow of energy is greatly restricted, it has begun to stagnate. And this concentrated charge of energy strives vainly to find a possibility for expression. Life becomes a burden. So you may well find that you actually are in the middle of a, 
or what I call a conflict or some sort of tension or a competition and it is impacting upon your ability to move forward to obtain your goals. Sometimes conflict, of course, can be positive, as in brainstorming. Conflict can make you get better at what you're doing. It can make you lift your game. It can make you even better than you are now. But this Five of Wands often points to, or staves, is, is, is pointing to, I think, I think here this month, maybe competition with with people who have similar qualities and experiences as you could also be competition with someone who is as attractive as you are and if you haven't had to face the fire of competition before then now you'll learn what it means and in particular what it requires i think this energy here also encourages understanding of differences of culture of background and opinions, and it makes you more rounded and wise. Do you know, in this situation, the danger of resigning yourself is great. Saturn reminds you that all things must be taken care of step by step. Don't let yourself be overwhelmed. Always look again to the fire in the suit, which burns on despite impediments. Now, as you've drawn this card, it is a sign that you are ready to face the situation and do something about it. So maybe ask yourself, what insurmountable obstacles seem to stand between you and the realization of your goals? How does the mountain of duties and tasks which stand before you look right now? Go step by step. Take everything a little easier and say to yourself, I am more and more capable now of expressing my feelings and my creativity in my work and personal lives. Well, we said we'd leave the king to last, so we'll have a look at this. And what are we getting here? Oh, here we have a woman who really is like a ballet dancer, isn't she? She seems to be a you know, leaping into the air, and it's as if she's suspended. It's as if action itself is suspended. Well, what's the astrology here? I think it is Mars ruling the first decan of Aries. That's what I'm getting here. Mars in the first decan of Aries, the 21st of, to the 30th of March. Well, that puts Mars in its own sign because Mars is the ruler of Aries. So what we have here is we have almost with you a sort of a warlike energy, that of the dynamic pioneer domination or mastering a situation. It could be dominating another person or dominating a situation. Certainly not being satisfied with your lot, I think. And you'll be focusing your intent the planet Mars, the bearer of dynamic and active power, is in its own sign. There you go. We're getting a good look at you still. That, that being Aries, of course, and the pioneer who constantly seeks new ways and methods of advancement. Now this, the drive forward then finds new directions. This means that you need to collect your energies and concentrate them and concentrate the courage necessary to embark upon new paths. Now, whatever drastic changes may occur along the way, the pioneer will not be thrown off balance. I think that um, you may be overcome by boldness here. That light is right, yeah. You may be overcome by boldness, courage, a fierceness, and dare I say it, even a shamelessness. You'll be generous and proud, but also you'll have a certain amount of well, revenge, I have to say, about you and resolution. 
This suggests that the will, your spirit, is beginning to rebel against its predisposed boundaries, come hell or high water. You will be using your willpower to break through stagnant situations and remove long-standing blocks. This is a time for you to act and act on instinct. That's what this girl was saying here. Act on instinct and what you believe to be right without overthinking the situation. And you will have, I have to say, powers of dynamic leadership ability and leadership energy. They're building up in you at this time. But pay attention to centering. If you're in contact with your center, you are certain to master the situation. Trust your energy. Don't go for any false compromises. Which tasks and situations are a challenge for you? Say this to yourself. I find the strength I need now in my center. I can do anything. Now that takes us finally to whom? Oh, to this king. Okay, king. Let's see what you have to say. Now I'm getting a lot of Sagittarius around here and a lot of Scorpio, so they're going to be important to you during this time. You will be active, generous, possibly impetuous at times. You will be proud. You'll have a swiftness about you and a fierceness. You may actually have an unpredictability about the actions that you take. I think you might also find that around you that there could well be startling unusual or revolutionary qualities contained in events around you during the month. But what you should do is remain cool and collected, resolute and energetic, and be careful of the actions that you take. Don't do anything that hasn't been well thought out, but go forward with an alert confidence in your ability. This is talking about dynamic forward motion, really increased insight and coming changes. You will be energetic and really quite ambitious, I think, adventurous, determined. Charming and magnetic is something that I think you are going to be. Other people are going to find you very attractive during this period. So do, do with that what you will, as I'm sure you You'll understand uh, how to manage any situations like that. The energy created, I think, by increased perception is now being set free and it's now manifesting and it's and it's unstoppable. Even difficult situations will move into a constructive direction. So this is a time to find your vitality, trust your gut instinct, let your hair down, give yourself a pep talk and believe that you can do it. Do you know, be awake, be ready for people or situations which could produce dynamic changes in your consciousness. Be grateful for this gift from existence. Receive it and don't cling to it. Does your present situation allow your energies to develop and unfold fully? And if not, what must be removed or changed? Seek out situations and opportunities that challenge you. Engage them with all of your energy. And say this to yourself, every challenge which arises helps me grow. Every storm strengthens my roots. Well, what a fascinating spread of cards for you this month. Good job. That's the way it is for you this month. Gee, I'm a bit exhausted after that. I don't know how you feel. That was great. I really, uh, it's kind of draining though, isn't it? This, uh, this business. I really enjoyed doing that for you and I'm glad that you were uh, able to um, participate along with me. It's been great uh, to do it with you and I'm looking forward to more in the future. But until that time, remember this and remember one thing only, and it is that you are a legend. And I look forward to seeing you again next month. Until then, it's bye for now.